Hello and thank you for watching. Today what we're going to do is a follow up on our Google Data Studio Sheets. Uh, we previously just did a video on rifle rounds and this one is for handgun rounds. And particularly hunting, we have takedown power and velocity. Now this chart is designed for desktop but it should work decent on mobile so there's only one link that I'll be providing in the description and when we open this up what you're gonna see is what you're looking at here on this screen a lot of colorful dots on a graph and then down here we have a table of information now one thing you'll notice if you highlight one of these dots it tells you what the cartridge is the muzzle velocity muzzle energy and bullet weight in grains so you can take a quick look if there's a few that stick out at you, but what this is designed to do is to compare three to five cartridges specifically for hunting depending on what you're hunting on or hunting for. Now what we're going to do first is we're going to take this up here, handgun cartridges, click that and it'll load up all the handgun cartridges are being displayed. Now, I only have a handful of pistols, so one of the pistols I have is a 357, and it's a Magnum. Now, for my first round, I'm going to choose 357 Magnum. This will eliminate all other options and display only the velocities and energies for the 357. Now, I also have a 44 Magnum, so I'll type in 44, and I'll check the box for 44 Magnum. Um, I also have a 22, but I'm not going to be hunting with that. Maybe a 38 special, I can throw that in my 357. And, well, that's pretty much all I have for handgun rounds. You can throw a 9mm in there if we want. Do 9mm Luger. So now we have four handgun cartridges. We'll click on the graph here. And we'll see what it displays. Now the first one is a 44 Remington Magnum sticks out. Now it has the largest grain, so it has the biggest dot. It's 229 grain. It has roughly 1600 feet per second in velocity and almost a thousand foot-pounds in energy. Right behind is a 357. Down here we have the 9 millimeter and the 38 Special. Now this is interesting to me because I didn't actually know that most 9mm rounds have more velocity and slightly more muzzle energy than a 38 Special. That's something to keep in mind when I have my 38 loaded. So if we scroll down even further we'll have this table here. Now this is granular data and this is particularly informational because when you hunt you have run at a varying range of distances. This tells you what the muzzle energy is at 500 yards and at 100 yards. So when you're deciding between a certain round, it's good to take a look at this and make sure that you have enough energy out at the distance you're expecting to hunt that you are satisfied. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. You can find Cedar Mill Fine Firearms at cedarmillfirearms.com. You can also find them on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day.